So today should be a fun day. I was actually contacted by a viewer who said, hey, I live nearby you. Do you want to go thrifting sometime? And that's a little bit like contacting a fish and saying, do you want to go swimming sometime? The answer is yes. Yes, I do. So I'm meeting this person out in Branford. We're going to check out three stores that I've never been to before. And she said she's never been there either. And so, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. If she is okay appearing on camera, I will feature her. But sometimes people are shy. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm on the lookout for an antique <coughs> Oh, cats. I'm on the lookout for um, fondue forks and a quilt rack. So those are the things I could use in my own personal house. And of course, I'm always looking for interesting things to resell. Although today, if I don't find anything to resell, that will be okay because I have a really big backlog of things to eBay. I'm just excited to meet somebody new and to check out some cool old stuff. I'm on my way to Homemaker Thrift Shop in Branford. It looks really interesting online and I've always wanted to check it out. So I'm on my way. I just thought I would share with you that the clean out of the last estate that we did um, finished up last night. And now I have a car full of books that I need to donate. And they smell like a soup made of attic and basement. And I'm not really here for it. Okay, I've arrived at Homemaker Thrift Shop. I'm a little bit early, so the store is still closed. But that's okay, because it gives me a chance to take a peek in the windows and get a sense of what might be inside. And I'm chatting to this very friendly lady who's also waiting, who's telling me about um, all the things she finds. She comes here regularly and she consigns as well. So all good information. Okay, I'm inside now and I am getting the lay of the land. I can tell you this store is a lot bigger inside than it seemed from the outside. And if you love vintage home decor, you will find yourself right at home in this store. There's so many cool things to look at. It's hard to even know where to start. And over here to my left is a pretty good sized clothing section. I really didn't spend a lot of time here, but it looks like there are some interesting things. I like this peacock painting. It reminds me of Chateau Diaries. Does anybody watch Chateau Diaries? If you do, let me know in the comments. Here's some bags right here on top of the racks. An interesting looking hat. There's lots and lots of jewelry here. Lots of pretty things. I love the mirror underneath it. I love the way they've displayed it. It's really, really nice. Jewelry is something I don't know a lot about in terms of like vintage jewelry, costume jewelry, that sort of thing. So that's definitely an opportunity for further education at some point. There's another whole section here, and there's actually one staff member who's dedicated to just showing jewelry. So they take it pretty seriously, which is a really good thing. Now I'm looking at some glassware. These are really nice. And the candlesticks. I love these little swirl pattern glasses. These are nice. Little hobnailed milk glass. These are really nice. They remind me a little bit of my Waterford ones that the cats love to break. So much to see. Cute little set. The blue goblets are very pretty. And this little Florence souvenir glass with a very naked statue of David, just as he's found in the museum. This is a lovely platter. So pretty with the blue. Nice display. I like how they have things laid out. This bowl is super pretty. 
Just checking out all of the great china. The prices here are very good. Excellency china. I love this piece. Of course, it's Limoges, only $9.99, which seems fantastic. I'm gonna pick that up for sure. We're moving on to the next store, also in Brantford. And here we are at Sarah's Cupboard Thrift Shop. There are two buildings. This is the first one that focuses on the home decor side of things. And let's see what they have. It's this door to the right. Ooh, I'm just peeking in and it's already really good. Lots of glassware, some nice Roseville. My Roseville is a dark blue with irises. Very nice pieces. Sweet Belle collection. I like that it's so eclectic. There's lots of different kinds of things to appeal to all sorts of collectors. This is a really nice display. There's lots of stuff, but it's so easy to see it really well and to then imagine it in your own home. I'm checking each little cubby very carefully because there's a lot to see and I don't want to miss anything. And here we have a little gravy boat section and some teacups and saucers. This is a nice clipper ship plate. This set is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. There are so many pieces. And it has this really pretty sort of basket pattern to it. And it is spode. Beautiful. And for all of this china, you would only have to pay $2.99, which seems like a steal to me. Here we have Limoges. You know how much I love Limoges. And these are beautiful and very reasonable. So I am pretty excited. This is a fantastic piece. I think this is clear depression glass, $10. This could be a lot of fun for entertaining. Lots of little porcelain pieces here. If you need some china, you know where to go. Like that little table, that's great. Are you seeing anything that you like here? If you are, let me know in the comments. I love to know what you're drawn to. This bowl is very pretty, $3. You can't beat that. Here's a jewelry section, lots of different bracelets, a nice little display cabinet. It's an interesting little plant piece, some nice necklaces. There's a lot to take in. Now I'm looking over at the other side and there's some very pretty vintage earrings. And I dropped one. I'll pick it up later. <laughs> it's hard to pick it up with one hand. I'm just looking through. You never know when you might find something really fun. I love to buy vintage jewelry actually just for myself. Pretty necklaces. Everything is super organized. And like I said, you can see things very clearly. Lots of great earrings. Nice little Easter display.
This is a very pretty set. I love the peachy pink color and the pattern on it. One of the things that's fun when shopping with a friend is seeing what that person is interested in. I love watching what Laura is picking up and looking at and considering. She sees some things before me and her eye is a little bit different and that teaches me some new things. The clothing section, as you can see, is pretty vast and it looks like there is zero junk here. Everything looks nice and everything is in good condition. So this would be a great place to come and do some thrift store clothing shopping. And I may come back another day and do just that. Now we're in the second store, the one that is more focused on furniture. They have some old vintage gowns hanging from the ceiling, as you can see. In these little cubbies, there's some like vintage textiles, bedding pieces, pillows, that sort of thing. I am drooling over this piece. It is so old and so interesting. It's only $35. It folds out into this desk, as you can see. I actually just arranged it that way. But it also collapses into a more compact piece. And you can see the dovetail drawers here. And look at those great old poles. Oh, I just wish I had somewhere in my house to place this piece. But it's a little bit on the stocky side. It's not something that you can just sort of pop into any little corner or nook and cranny. But it's great. There's also some very nice lamps here for really good prices, including some pairs of lamps, which are nice to find. This is a nice empire style um, chest of drawers. I really like this piece. 149, which is not unreasonable at all, and it's in really good shape. And this piece is super fun. $2.99. That might seem like a lot, but it's in great shape. It looks like it's maybe from the 30s or 40s. And I think a person could store almost all of their clothes in this guy. There's so many nooks and crannies and places to put things. Really great piece. Very heavy and well made. This is a beautiful black and gold chinoiserie lamp. Only $29. It's a very good price in wonderful condition. I even like the shade on it. That lamp is really nice too with the green leaves. I love these shelves. I wish I had a place for them. It's so nice to find a pair like this. Yeah, really good condition. $99 each, which is not bad at all. Yeah, I, I really have enjoyed this store and I will be coming back for sure. Okay, Laura and I had such a good time thrifting today. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Well, Laura's no longer with me, but I'm already here. So I'm gonna check out the Goodwill in Branford because I haven't been here before and it's really close to where I already am located. So why not? Here's a sense of the store. And you take just a good look around, get a sense of where things are. Of course, I went right to the home decor section because that is my fave. And I'm just checking out some of the smalls and the giftware in this section. It's a lot of stuff. It's a little bit jumbled up, which is really typical of this section, I find. This is a nice little um, shelving unit as well. It's missing a pole, but that could be easily replaced. And there's some other tables and things. This poor ottoman looks like it had something heavy on it for a long period of time and became very saggy. There's a reproduction needlepoint chair and some Windsor chairs. This is a nice cut glass pitcher. I'm kind of thinking about this casserole dish. I could use another one, but $5.99, yeah, not a bad price. I'll think about it, I'm not sure. Eh, should I, shouldn't I, $5.99, I'll think about it. You can tell I'm tired because I'm being indecisive, which is not so much like me.
Well, that's kind of funky with the rose on it. I like the hobnail detail on this piece. I wonder if that's Westmoreland, not sure. And that Pyrex covered uh, dish is not old, but could be good for food storage if it weren't melted. I wonder what happened there. Got a little too close to the grill, maybe. This is an interesting big beer mug or stein. Here we have the basket section. This hinged basket is really nice. I like this piece a lot. And I'm putting it in the cart so I can get a better look at it. It's really well made. It doesn't look like there's any damage to it at all. Yeah, it's in good shape. I'm looking for any kind of label or maker mark on it, I'm not finding anything. And I don't really need one, but it is a good piece. Interesting little figurine. This frog is kind of fun. His butt is a planter. I could say a lot of sarcastic things about that, but I'm not going to. Uh, I can't really see the maker on that. All right, time to go home and let's see what we got. I just had such a successful thrift shopping day. I met up with Laura in Brantford. She was awesome. We had so much fun. She has a great eye for antiques. And we went to two, well, sort of three stores together. And then I went on to a fourth on my own. And I'll explain a little more. But we started at a store called Homemakers Thrift Store. And it was really, really nice. It was laid out beautifully. Um, everyone who worked there was really nice and very helpful. And they had beautiful things. I tried to capture some highlights in my footage, but for the best part, I'm gonna show you what I bought. The first thing I bought was this huge Limoges covered dish. It's really heavy. It's in perfect shape. There's no cracks or chips. Here's the inside. I just washed it so you might see a little bit of water. And we've got the Limoges stamp on the back. It has great sort of ruffled details on the handles and these beautiful pink flowers. And I really like the way they price this. So they have consigned items and they put on these little tags and basically it says homemakers thrift Limoges soup tureen the initial price so the price when this piece was first brought in to be consigned um, was $9.99 and that's the price I paid if it had stayed there until April 25th it would have gone to $6.99 and if it had been there by May 10th $4.00 so I was perfectly happy to pay the first listed price for this piece because I think it is fantastic. I also picked up this beautiful Lennox ginger jar. Can you see the pattern? It has its lid. There's the Limoges, the, the Lennox stamp. And I paid $9.99 for this. If I had waited until April 6th, it would have gone down to $6.99. And then two weeks later, it would have been $4. But I was really happy to buy this. I thought it was such a pretty pattern. I really like Lennox. It always reminds me of my mother. And similarly, I picked up this adorable Lennox snail. I thought it was so sweet. And I paid $8 for this. Uh, April 28th, it would have been $5.60. And two weeks later, it would have been $3.20. But I was perfectly happy to pay the first price for it. I just pulled the tag off so I could show you the bottom. And I thought these were really great purchases. But there was one more piece. 
This tablecloth is so beautiful. Obviously, I need to wash and iron it. And it's not meant for this round kitchen table. This would go on the dining room table. So I'm just moving it around so you can see some details. Licorice is apparently very thirsty right now. Um, yeah, beautiful details on this piece. There are no grease stains at all. It's like somebody acquired this and then just put it away. And I thank that person because as a result, I can have it in this gorgeous shape. And I think it's so beautiful for springtime with all the flowers and the pretty colors. So this will look wonderful on my dining room table. And I definitely am gonna keep this piece. I just cut the tags off because Indy wouldn't leave them alone. As you can see, he finds them to be apparently delicious and a toy. There's just no dignity in this house. I also bought this adorable little bookshelf. Isn't it so cute? It has this great carved drawer. And this is going to be perfect in my study right next to my desk. So I was very happy to find this cute little piece. This is the kind of piece that you can pop all over your house and it will look fantastic in any location. I was actually thinking it could also be cute in the kitchen with cookbooks and things in it. But I think the truth of the matter is it will get more use in the study. So that's where I'm going to put it. And here's a closer look at the other pieces I bought from Homemaker Thrift Store. I will definitely go back there again. And actually I was speaking to a woman as I was waiting for the store to open because I got there a little bit early. And she was telling me she goes every week because the inventory really turns over. And she also brings things there to consign. So that was a great find. I will give that store a grade of an A. Beautiful things, excellent service, and very good prices. I'm just gonna have to warn you that the cats are now playing in all of the packaging, so we're gonna have no peace. Not that we ever really have peace in these videos, but it's, it's gonna get a little loud in here, so apologies. <laughs> Anyway, the next place we went to was Sarah's Cupboard, and I'm going to count that actually as two stores because they had kind of a home decor section, um, a separate store with home decor and clothing, and then they had an entirely different building that had furniture and lamps and things in it, and they were both excellent. Um, I ended up buying quite a few things in the home decor slash clothing store. And again, the prices were fantastic. So I'm going to show you this piece first, this great divided tray. I'm not sure if this is Manhattan depression glass in clear, but it certainly looks like it. When I look at these ridges, they seem exactly the same and the handles do as well. And I just love this. I think this would be so much fun for entertaining. I think I'm gonna keep this actually. Um, it's really heavy, it's in great condition, and I think once I wash it, it will absolutely shine. So I was really excited about this piece. Then I picked up this great, I think this is a bureau tray and it has all this great etched glass in it. I love this. I'm going to keep this as well. And this was $8 and the plate I just showed you was $10. Um, yeah, I think this is a really pretty piece. So Laura actually found this piece first and then she decided not to get it. And I promise I was not giving her an evil eye or threatening looks of any kind. I was a good girl. She decided purely of her own volition to pass it by. So then I picked it up and I think this is gonna be great um, on my little vanity table. And I can put just some little bits of makeup and jewelry or whatever I need to just pop on and off really quickly on it but I think it's lovely and I was very glad to have it.
Okay, I think it will be easier to show you the rest as kind of a total lot. So let's do that. So you will see here, there are three different covered dishes. They're all Limoges, they all need to be washed pretty badly. They were $8 each. They are in perfect condition. Look at the pretty flower pattern on these and the handle. And inside, there's a flower pattern as well. And that's true for all of them. And I just love that detail. And, oh, let me show you the bottom. So you can see this is all Limoges, made in France. Absolutely beautiful. And I haven't been finding any Limoges in good repair lately, so this was really fun to find. And then this stack of dessert plates, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in the same pattern. So, so pretty. I absolutely love Limoges. The plates, oops, here's the back. The plates were $2 each. And the last piece I bought was this pretty bowl. I loved the flowers on this piece and the beautiful edging. Do you see all of that detail? This is a lovely, lovely piece. And can you guess who made it? It was made in Limoges, so it's French. This was only $3, but here is the thing. They give you a discount at Sarah's Cupboard if you buy multiple items. So I got this dish, the three covered dishes, the stack of plates, the bureau tray, and this big depression glass platter. And the entire thing, this whole haul, cost me, with tax, $31, which is absolutely unbelievable. I could not have been happier. And when I was making the decisions to buy these things, I had no idea I was gonna get that kind of discount. I was very happy to pay the full price for all of these. So I just, I don't even know what to say. I was very surprised, very pleasantly surprised and all I can tell you is that this is another store that gets a firm grade of an A, A plus from me for having fantastic things in great condition for excellent prices. And again, the staff, the, the gentleman who was helping me could not have been friendlier or more helpful. I just thought I would show you Iris having a party in all of the bags and wrappings from my haul. Andy's enjoying it too. Andy, say hi. Now he's bashful today. I can usually get a good reliable meow out of him. And now Iris is trying to get inside the bag. But Wilson is chill as ever. And Licorice is just doing her tap dancing thing she always does when I'm filming. These are my crazy furry friends. So I didn't buy anything at Sarah's Cupboard Furniture, the furniture store, uh, but they had beautiful things. They had some beautiful lamps, really, really nice lamps at great prices, a fantastic Empire Bureau um, that I would have snagged in a second if I was in the market for a bureau. There's this interesting sort of wardrobe piece that was very ornate and very heavy and well-built. I loved it. There was a table that I'm still thinking about. I know it's one of those things that's gonna haunt my dreams. It was a great table and then you can lift it up and turn it into a desk and it has these great old industrial looking poles. Wow, it was quite something. Um, we were very tempted, especially by the lamps. And there was also all these great vintage gowns and things and they were suspended from the ceiling. It was a really tight space, but the way it was laid out, you could see everything. Um, and it was a lot of fun. So again, I can't say enough about Sarah's Cupboard. Um, very successful thrifting day. 
So after Sarah's cupboard, Laura and I parted ways. She needed to get home. And I decided to make one more stop to the Goodwill in Brantford, only because I had never been there before. It was on my list of places to check out. And so I headed over there. And the kitty fun continues. Iris, the lighting director. Okay, here's what I got at Goodwill. I found these Franciscan teacups and saucers. There are four in a set and they were $3.99. And I have some teacups to go with them. The teacups were 99 cents each. The only bummer Oh, no, there's two bummers. So I'm looking here. It looks like there's hairline cracks in this one and a hairline crack in that one. So it looks like I have two sad friends. Yep, the other ones look good. This is, I think that's okay. Yeah, the other ones are okay. So, eh. What are you gonna do? And then I bought this Mikasa bowl. It's divided, has the pretty pink tulips on it. And this was $7.99. And I bought these dinner plates from the um, pretty china set that I used over Easter. And all of these plates, one, two, three, four, five, six plates, dinner plates for $7.99 which is a great price for them. So some hits or miss, misses, some, oh my goodness, some hits and misses at the Goodwill. <clears throat> Those hairline cracks were really something I should have seen, but other than that, I'm really happy. Here's a table full of stuff. We've got quite a bit. So I would say very successful thrifting day. And two crazy cats. It made such a nice change to be able to go into some smaller thrift stores that weren't part of a chain. It was just a pleasure to go to a place that had fair prices and really good stock. Um, and the stores were super curated. There was no junk there. There was no garbage there. It was all really good stuff, really fairly priced. And I just really wish that Goodwill and Savers and Salvation Army would really reflect on their pricing strategies because they've gotten too expensive. And when you go to a store like that and you have to dig through all the junk, and there is really a lot of junk in those stores. You dig through all that junk and you try to find the good stuff and you try to find it in decent condition. You, know, you go through a lot to get stuff in those stores and then to pay you know, higher prices for it is really disappointing. So it was nice to get away from that. And as I've said before, I wish Connecticut had more of those small local thrift stores, but I do know there are other states that have them and it would probably be worth it to take a day trip um, a few times a month even, just to experience some other kinds of stores and see what else is out there. It's really easy to fall into a habit of going to the same stores that I know well over and over again, but there's a real sense of fun in trying a new thrift store or a new antique store or a different experience of some kind to see what else is available. So I was so glad that I had this thrifting in Brantford day. I was so glad that Laura came with me. It was such a pleasure, as I said, to meet her. I couldn't be happier with my haul. And despite the rain and the gloom outside, I am a happy girl. In case you're wondering what my plans are for these pieces, I intend to try to resell the Franciscan teacups and saucers and the three Limoges covered dishes with the plates. I am gonna keep the Spode wine glass until Christmas time and I will add that to the others. I will sell this Mikasa bowl that is still flipped over. I am keeping this Limoges bowl. I think it is stunning. 
and I, for at least now, I'm gonna keep the Limoges cover dish as well with the pink flowers because it looks nice with some of my other pink pieces. I intend to sell the ginger jar, but if it doesn't sell, I won't be sad. I think I'm gonna hold on to the snail. I've never seen him before. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna keep that um, depression glass platter and I'm gonna keep the bureau dish as well, or the bureau tray. These are a question I don't have an answer to at this time. <laughs> so to be determined. And then of course, I'm gonna keep the tablecloth and I'm gonna keep the little bookshelf. And I really wish I had had that tablecloth for Easter. It would have been so perfect for Easter, but you can always use it for next Easter or any other event that comes my way. It's just so cheerful and springy. I really love it. I'm going to take this adorable snail and just pop it on the shelves of the hutch for right now. I think the white goes well with the Port Marion. And here's my little vanity table and I'm going to pop the dresser tray right onto it. I think it's really pretty and I think it's a nice size as well. And here's my study. I've shown this room before and I'm showing it to you again. All these boxes and bins are things that I'm in the process of eBaying. And the blanket on the chair is because the cats love to lie on that chair and it's easier to just wash the blanket. But I think the little chest of drawers looks really cute here. I've got just some books here for now. I'll probably style it up a little differently and this basket will move, but I think it's a great size. I thought that was a nice little piece to pick up. And here are my other shelves. Again, I know I've shown you this space before, but this is just a little bit of an update. Here we have some vintage clothes that I need to clean up and list on eBay. This sweater is super cool. It's a very old college sweater, I think from the 50s. Um, I'm not sure. And this book is being sold on eBay, but I was just peeking at some recipes. And yeah, we've got Napoleon looking pensive as ever and this old telescope, and I promise I still don't spy on the neighbors with it. It's just for appearances. And my old Narnia map that I absolutely love. And the master bedroom, the roll top desk. Yeah, this piece, I you know, you've seen it in the background. Oh, shameless plug, Worthington Home. Um, you've seen this piece in the background before, but it's really interesting. It's all done on silk, it's needlepoint. These dogs stay up late having a poker party and then suffer the consequences the next day. Naughty dogs. But it's a, I just think it's a really funny piece. And you can see the view out the window. It's a very pretty neighborhood, I think. And this old accordion is great. My husband picked that up not too long ago. And those are some mugs that are being eBayed and a little tobacco jar I haven't brought myself to part with yet. I forgot to show you, I bought these pretty earrings at Goodwill the other day. Aren't they so nice? I really like them. So they were a great find, but I have to show you the bad thing that has happened. You ready for this? Here's my little Lennox snail. It's been decapitated. And here's part of the shell. And I could conceivably glue it back, but I don't know where the head has gone. And I've looked all over the floor and I can't find it. So my husband was actually there when Iris climbed up the shelves and just smacked it down for no apparent reason. So that is such a bummer. Um, and you know, I love my cats, but it's stuff like this that can be very discouraging sometimes. So I'm gonna keep looking for the head. <laughs> if I can find it, I will glue this together because it's just for me. I'm not gonna sell it or anything and I don't mind if it's glued and maybe someday I'll think it's a funny story. I don't know, 
know, that day is definitely not today. I can tell you that for sure. So that's what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye for now.